Aloha and welcome to Life Journaling and Dash for today, the 30th of June, the year is 2022. If it looks like we're packing and getting ready for another adventure, we are. And I'm hosting along with you, Vela. I'm David. Today, we are looking at Amos chapter 7, 8, and 9. Also, Psalm chapter 104 and Titus chapter 2. Are you ready for this next season of adventure? Sure. We go with God, but today we're just going to say no. That's the title of today's Life Journaling and Dash. And before I get into that, I'm going to ask you to lead us with a word of prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the adventures that you've given us. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, share about you with two others. We ask that our words that we share today help encourage those who are listening. Amen. Amen. So hopefully you're encouraged by listening to the podcast or watching this vlog because there's so much out there that could be disheartening and can bring you down. Hopefully reading the Word of God encourages you. Today, Just Say No. That's the title as I pull from Titus chapter 2 verses 12, 13, and 14. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly possessions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good my observation we're to live with self-control and to lead lives that are godly jesus gave himself for us and it is through him we have redemption and we want to be ready for when he returns my application how will i be made different by what i have read today i hope to have better self-control and to live a life pleasing and honoring to god i want to just say no to things that are not pleasing to God. My prayer, Lord, thank you for opening my eyes. I ask you to help me to have self-control, more of it, when I face things that I should avoid. Help me to pass on them. Amen. Um, Do you uh, want to ask me what my self-control is? My problem with self-control? What is your problem with self-control? Chips and soda. Chips and soda. That's the, uh, I mean, we all have problems with self control, but I, you know, you'll say to me, Why are you eating that? Are you hungry? And I'm like, uh, I'm stress eating. And I don't even realize it until you ask me. And then I'm like, oh, Why did I do that? So I need to do better at recognizing it right off the bat. You mean like today when you were having lunch and you put the chips out between us and I got two of them. Yeah, like that. Yeah. So I'm praying for self-control. Um, Help with my self-control. Other people have problems with self-control in other areas. I call it as it is. It's chips and soda. Mine is from Psalms 104. May my meditation be pleasing to him as I rejoice in the Lord. My observation, today is the day I am moving to Hawaii, or Hawaii. There are so many thoughts going through my head that I cannot process all of them. I do want to take the time and think about God. Therefore, I pause to journal in the middle of packing, and I want to rejoice in God, not because I'm moving to Hawaii, but because he is a great God and worthy of praise. How will I be changed by what I read today? I want to remember to always to take the time to stop and pause my mind and think about God and give him praise. My prayer, thank you, Lord, for guiding me through this retirement. It has definitely not gone the way I would have planned, <laughs> but you have been there each step of the way. Thank you for guiding me and directing my life. Amen. Amen. I think you should explain what you mean by retirement. That's usually when people quit jobs. But we've stayed very busy. 
We've stayed busy, but I no longer live in Okinawa. We don't live in Japan. We're not, I guess we are still certified teachers, but we're not teaching as professionals, school children. Oh, so all the stuff I do, I volunteer for, work, volunteer and don't get paid. Is that what retirement is? Yeah, I think for me, it's doing things that I want to do and I'm not waiting on that paycheck that's gonna come on Monday because it's not gonna come on Monday. So, yeah, I mean, we're not sitting around idle, that's for sure. Um, do you realize it's been almost two, no, it's been over two years that we have been retired? Yeah, just over two years because we left in June, we left Japan in June of 2020, 2020 in the middle of COVID and um, airports were closed, but they said for Yuval and David, we have to leave the country because we can't stay in a foreign land as we're citizens of the United States. We had to come back to the United States. I say come back, we hadn't lived in the United States for 30 something years, but it has been two years. And it's not exactly what I would have expected for retirement as well. Um, I think I'm ready to go to Hawaii, feeling called there. I know that God has plans for us wherever we're at. We'll continue to do life journaling. And that's kind of my, you call it a guardrail? Why? Because a guardrail on a road keeps you from going over the side of a road that um, you can end up getting hurt. So guardrails in my life are things that stop me from going in directions that could cause me harm. Yeah, and this is so, even though we're packing, even though we're changing our address, it's kind of weird because you don't really have an address when you're on the road, um, we go with God. Well, it will be a new adventure for us. It um, Yeah, the adventure continues. We spent the first uh, about 15 months uh, helping with our son and daughter-in-law with our first grandchild. Then we hit the road for nine months. Um, ac yeah, nine months. And then we packed up and are right, we're headed for Hawaii. And then no telling where we're going to head after that. No, there's not. But through it all, we will be life journaling in that dash, which is meant to be the time between your birth and your death. We want to make the most of the dash for God. And um, yeah, we make mistakes, but we're going to pray and work towards always getting better. Just like the people that listen and watch the podcast and the blog, that even though hard times may come, we hang on to each other and to God. And it's a journey that we can handle because he's there. Well, so, so many people forget that he's there and that we as believers have been given the gift of the Holy Spirit. I think we're ending our time here in the continental United States on a good note. We're staying with your parent. We stayed with your parents. And that's been really nice to be able to spend so much time with them. It has. Not everybody has that, that blessing. You don't have your parents still here on earth. I do. Um, my father, as I've said some stuff from my dad, um, he's gone to his file and pulled out his notes on the Bible and said, hey, yeah, this is what I got from reading that. And so that's been fun. Speaking of reading that. Wasn't one. expecting that, but it was really neat. And um, I hold that close to my heart tomorrow as you're alluding to what we'll be reading. will be Isaiah chapter 1, 2, and 3. And also we'll read Titus chapter 3. But that's tomorrow on Life Journaling and Dash. Dare with you. Do something different? Would you close us out with a word of prayer today? Okay. Anytime I can talk to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your wonderful blessings that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us as we came back to the United States from Okinawa and that you've directed our paths every single 
fourth step of the way. We thank you for the new adventure that you're giving us and we look forward, Lord, to see how you're going to use us to make a positive difference in your kingdom. We thank you and bless you in your name. Amen. Amen.